Good morning, everyone. So, nothing to report today on the road work. They did everything I showed you last time, and then they never came back. So we just have a totally messed up road. But hopefully by the end of the week they will, and next week I'll show you the rest of the process. Everybody's doing really good getting in the toolbox sides, and I started doing some of the handles as well. It's actually pretty cool. We have the small CNC machine set up for the sides of the toolbox and the big CNC machine cutting out the handles. So we've got both running at the same time. This is the kind of work that's awesome. So if you get the handle design turned in, we can cut that out. Some of you have started gluing, which is great. We're gonna do a demo on that next week, I think, so that everybody can see how to glue. But if you're ready for it, I'll show you in class on how to do that. If you're working on the organizer, keep going. Make sure you get the Google Doc in, the Google Drawing in of both parts if you're doing that project. But now I wanna take time again this week to talk about what tools I think you should keep in your toolbox forever. <laughs> Okay, next up in our segment on tools that I think you should have is a hammer to get a nail out or to put a nail in. They are specifically for that, nails. Uh, don't misuse a hammer for other things. So I have a, a couple here. Also, if you buy a, a good one that you like that fits, that feels good in your hand that you uh, are comfortable with, you can keep that tool. It's a good investment to keep that tool for many, many years. I also still have a hammer that's generations old. They, uh, they don't, they don't go bad, they're not machines, they don't have work moving parts, they last a long time. So this is a small lightweight hammer, which is generally used for like upholstery, but it's a really nice little hammer to have in your toolbox because many times you just need to tap in a very light little nail for when you're hanging a picture or anything else, and you don't wanna use something that's not a hammer to put in a nail. So nice little lightweight hammer like this to uh, hang a picture hanger, or just lightly tap in a sheetrock anchor. These two are more uh, the size that you would commonly see uh, just as everyday hammers. And they're made of different materials. Sometimes they're rubber coated. Sometimes they have wood handles. I personally prefer wooden handles. And they have different shapes of the handles. So if you were to look at the, at the handle, the bottom of the handle, some of them, if we compare the wood one, some of them just are a straight handle and some of them have what's called like an ax handle at the bottom. It's like a hatchet, really comfortable to hold in your hand. I also like this shape. I mean, you, you really pick one that feels good in your hand. It's a personal preference, but a good general overall hammer is a 16 ounce hammer. Uh, you can get them heavier, 22, 24 ounces, even more framing hammers. I have a larger hammer that I do often use to hammer in like stakes into the ground, but it's not as useful as just a general 16 ounce everyday hammer. You also need to pick the claw shape that you like. So this one's more of a straight claw and this one's more of a, a curved claw. And that just allow, changes the angle that you have to approach going in to get a nail out of, um, out of whatever it is that you're trying to pry it out of. Also the, the face of the hammer, I think smooth is more generally accepted than a waffle, which is like a textured one. That's another framing hammer idea. But then, if, because then if you miss your hammer, in, if you miss the nail and you hammer into the piece of wood, you might leave a mark. So smooth face, claw, whatever your personal preference is. I personally like the straight claw, but again, whatever you would choose. And when you're in the store and you feel them in your hand, whichever one feels the most comfortable for you. So definitely need a hammer in the toolbox. Always have a hammer. Now, often people will want to use hammers for things that they shouldn't use hammers for. And like I said, there's a ton of things you do use a hammer for, but as an alternative, not a tool that I think everybody needs, but is certainly nice to have is a mallet of some kind, rubber mallet. This is not meant for nails. If you're trying to hit something steel into something soft, like wood, you're gonna put a dent in it. You're gonna damage it. You don't wanna do that. So you get a softer material that you can then tap the wood or hit whatever it is you're gonna you know, need to need to work with, and then risk you have less risk damaging the work piece, work piece. If you try to hammer a nail in with this, you're gonna damage the mallet, no good. You don't always need this though. There's ways around it. You could put a block of wood down and then hit it with the hammer, and that piece of block of wood can get damaged because it's not gonna damage your project, but definitely need a hammer in your toolbox, and as a secondary alternative, nice 
thing to have is a mallet also, but not as important as the hammer. So I hope you enjoyed that little segment and I will see everybody in the Google Meet. Remember, Morristown cares about you. I care about you. Be excellent to each other.